Excuse me, little dog. <clears throat> Hi, guys. <coughs> it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking about an over the top beautiful. I think it is an 83 degree October 3rd, 2023. Is this, or is it Monday? No, it is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. I guess we're having record high temperatures up here in paradise. Upstate New York, baby, I am absolutely loving it. A uh, little bit of smoke in the sky, I'm thinking. A little nervous about the smoke in the sky, but absolutely enjoying uh, one of the warmest days of 2023 here in October before hell gets here in a few days. But anyway, guys, so I woke up on this uh, beautiful morning. You might have noticed there haven't been any Humpty Dumpty tribe rants in a couple of days. Uh, you know, I'm just having, once again, just kind of a, a moment of doubt. I, I've, I've always been trying to figure out what to do with this channel since I moved all of that Doomer shit, uh, all of that dreary Doomer stuff over there to that other channel, kind of flailing around here, which is shows up in my number of views. I do notice that my, uh, my space alien rant on Saturday is the number one most viewed video, uh, I guess, in, in I don't know how long, uh, people clamoring for me to start a new, uh, just a whole new channel, and I actually did try to start a new space alien channel called Aliens and Doomers, and I guess you can go subscribe to Aliens and Doomers, but, uh, I haven't put anything on it yet, but that's coming up, so I'm just deciding what the, you know, I just feel like, what am I doing here anymore? Is anybody, you know, getting any help out? Is there anything I'm saying on Humpty Dumpty Tribe that could actually help anybody? Well, thank God, uh, I can finally bring you a video uh, where I feel like I am really, you know, I'm bringing something to your life and quite possibly saving your life. And I want to thank, uh, if you remember the Quack Brothers, those, those goddamn ducks that I had last year, well, I got those, those damn ducks from this neighbor of mine over the hill, uh, who lives in a beautiful home. She runs some sort of uh, healing retreat out of her little piece of paradise on the other side of the hill here. And uh, they'll call her Lulu. And Lulu has been uh, kind enough to keep in touch all of this time and uh, I have just received a, an email from Lulu, which I really appreciate her. Uh, I emailed her back and I said, I really appreciate you sending me this. And I am going to spread the word. So you can thank Lulu for saving your life. I, I've heard something about... Tomorrow, you know, Wednesday, October 4th, between 2 and 3 p.m. Eastern Time, meaning here in New York, baby, that there's going to be some sort of uh, emergency alert test. Uh, <laughs> an emergency alert. There you go. Uh, I, I have an emergency alert about at least seven times a week. So anyway, I paid no attention to, to my own peril. I have been ignoring this 
But thank you, Lulu, for bringing this to my attention. So Lulu is sharing this with all of us. And I highly suggest you put this on your social media and spread the word. <clears throat> dear friend, dear friend, I am sending out a warning for the National Wireless Emergency Alert System that is scheduled for Wednesday, October 4th, between 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, New York Time, for my New York friends. This is a warning I send of the warning or alert itself. This is not sent to scare you. It is a warning. This is not sent to scare you. It is a warning. There you go. <clears throat> the message is to come. The message is to come to the cell phone, TV, and radio. It is called a test. I strongly suggest that you keep your phone radio and TV turned off during this time. You may not want to be driving or flying a plane or a rocket during this time either. God damn it, Lulu. I was planning to be flying my rocket at uh, 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I can. I'm going to have to call my buddy Elon and say, Elon, I'm sorry, I appreciate the invite, but uh, we're going to have to go fly in your rocket some other day. Do not fly in your rocket tomorrow afternoon. Okay. But for most of us, we're talking about the phone. Turn your phone off. Wrap your cell phone in aluminum foil and put it away between those hours and the rest of the day. If you have a watch or other electronic device, you know, maybe like a pacemaker, that are on your person or nearby. Okay, if you have an electronic device nearby or some kind of Wi-Fi you may wish to remove them as well. Okay, I want everybody to remove your refrigerator by 2 o'clock tomorrow. Remove it. Okay, here are some other suggestions. She has a bullhorn as a little, a little emoji bullhorn. Here are some other suggestions. Number one, Get out of the city for a couple of hours. Well, I've done that. Take the day off from work. I've done that. Avoid being around Wi-Fi or in buildings where there is Wi-Fi. Turn it off in the house. Well, I am actually going to be uh, riding around Kuka Lake tomorrow looking at the leaves. So, so far, I'm three for three. Avoid, okay, this is my favorite one. Of, and, and this really is good news for me. Avoid being around cell phone towers. Good luck, but don't worry, we do have some good news. Hot air balloons are probably okay. So uh, you cannot take a rocket ride, but if you have a hot air balloon uh, to get away from cell phone towers, there's, there's basically two ways to get away from cell phone towers, you know, unless you're a buzzard uh, on this planet. Rockets or hot air balloons? Well, rockets are no way to get away from cell phone towers tomorrow. You have got, you have, 
till 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon to get your ass in a hot air balloon into the stratosphere, up, up, and away, in my beautiful balloon. Alright, so hot air balloons is how Lulu suggests you get away from cell phone towers tomorrow. Warn as many people as possible of these things. Well, I'm doing that. Okay, number six, don't negotiate. Do not negotiate. Not quite sure what that means. Okay. Keep your children home from school and apply all this to them. So yeah, th th this will be the biggest challenge. A, a bigger challenge than, uh, than finding a hot air balloon to get you away from cell phone towers is to keep your children home from school tomorrow and tell them they have to wrap their cell phones in aluminum foil and put them away for the entire day. Uh, good luck on that one. Take a walk barefoot in the country. This is more than a suggestion. Well, I take that advice. I have taken that advice every day of my life probably going back till about the middle of May, uh, every single day for at least the five, for the last five months, I have taken a walk barefoot in the country. There you go. And number nine, find a place in the country and relax. There you go. Bottom line, find a place in the country and relax. This is exactly what I offer people at, uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I offer them a place in the country uh, with no cell phone tower reception where they can walk barefoot and relax. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Lulu right across the hill has a similar gig going at her healing retreat center. Okay, but for those who cannot take a walk barefoot in the country and find a place to relax and you have to like work for a living, if you have business meetings or important phone calls to make at that time, reschedule them. I am not at liberty <coughs> in this email to explain why. Okay. Lulu is not at liberty to explain the reasoning for all this, but you all can do your own research. But it takes digging. It takes digging. I would put on a, uh, like a waiter, at least this high. Uh, the, the, like these trout wading boots uh, and, and a snow shovel to wade through the, uh, the bullshit you're going to find. If you start digging into this story, uh, it, it will make alien abduction, you, you, you know, seem like uh, biology 101 in eighth grade. It will take digging through mountains of horseshit. I will, however, explain this to those I regularly communicate when the time has passed. That's something to look forward to. Okay. In the event that nothing happens tomorrow, well, you know, 
in, in the absolute hair thin chance that nothing happens tomorrow between two and three tomorrow when they do this uh, emergency alert test over cell phone towers. Uh, I, I, I understand that this is absolutely ridiculous, but just in case nothing happens and you think that this was a false alarm, I don't mean to scare you, but in the event nothing happens tomorrow on the 11th, I'm assuming, obviously, October 11th, they're going to do it all over again. It's scheduled to do the same. Okay? So you ought to heed all these warnings and take precaution on that date as well. And Lulu has some closing thoughts for me. Here, how about this one? I... Out of all the recommendations that Lulu has made, you know, from like uh, hopping in a hot air balloon to get away from cell phone towers, this next one is the most outlandish. <clears throat> Be inconvenienced. There you go. Be inconvenienced. I am not afraid to look like a fool to you. Consider yourself warned. Please warn others. The response may not be delayed so as not to associate the alert with anything strange that may take place. So, you know, you hear this a lot in, the, in similar warnings that just because you don't feel like anything weird has happened by 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, it could be delayed because they don't want clueless morons to link cause and effect. You know, like... They do this test, and I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing wildly. So they do this test at 2 o'clock tomorrow on October 4th, and then maybe on October 8th, uh, a, I, 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 I don't know, there's a big UFO mass sighting that you see what I'm saying they they don't want you to make the connection that what this thing is is calling in the UFOs so by October 8th when the UFOs get here uh, people are already going to have forgotten, completely forgotten, October 4th and make no connection between this cell tower test sending out a message and the arrival of a fleet of UFOs. This is, this is kind of what she's talking about. Buy some licorice root and make a tea. There you go. Buy some licorice root and make a tea. Ramp up your vitamin C. Obtain in powder form. I got plenty of emergency down there. And wrapping it all up. Hold on to your Doomer hat during the next couple of months. Hold on to your Doomer hat. Anyway, I am so glad that I have vindicated Humpty Dumpty Tribe again. Uh, and I can sleep well tonight knowing that I have saved some lives 
and I have got to wrap this up because I need to make a hot air balloon reservation for two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take a hot air balloon ride over Kuka Lake instead of a gas sucking truck uh, tour. Anyway, get out there and enjoy this record breaking heat and stay out of the smoke and for God's sake wrap your cell phone up in aluminum foil tomorrow which is just generally good advice anyway bye guys